my friends, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be doing a clean with me session. But it is a drizzly day out here in Southern California. It's a very um, cozy atmosphere. The rain is very gentle. There's no wind and it just lends itself to that kind of um, cozy stay home feeling, which is convenient right now, considering that we're all encouraged to stay home anyway. So I decided to do a little bit of mindfulness and self care involved in this cleaning video by incorporating some concepts of huga. Now I have talked about huga a little bit on my channel before. If you are not familiar with huga, I will um, link some information on it down below. Uh, I was first introduced to the concept from the Huga House channel, which I will put up in a card. And it's basically all about coziness, togetherness, and contentment. It involves lots of warm, yummy drinks, or if it's summertime, cool, yummy drinks, um, cozy throws, comfortable fabrics, and just really creating an atmosphere that lends itself to comfort. Since I am in my um, library, I do have a faux fireplace with working lights. So I'm gonna be turning that on so it looks nice and cozy in here. But just turning this room back into the sanctuary that it's meant to be, my library isn't crazy, um, it's not crazy fancy. My husband did the work in here himself. He's not uh, finished, we still have some stuff to, uh, to do in here. But um, the kids and I have been playing, we've been working on homeschool, so there's toys and stuff everywhere. Uh, it could definitely use some dusting. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and kind of neaten it up, do some dusting, clean everything really nicely, and that way I can enjoy the rest of the day. Maybe sit at my window, do some reading, and enjoy the rain. So if that sounds like something that you might enjoy, go ahead and come along with me, and let's have a hooga day. Now, I wanted to make the video as cozy and comfortable as possible for me, so I'm wearing soft clothes and comfortable fabrics. I'm actually wearing leggings, which I don't normally do outside of a workout, and so if you're going to be doing something like this along with me, I highly encourage you to wear something that you're really, really comfortable in that feels good. Now, now really quickly, this is my favorite piece of Disney art that I have in the house. Um, I actually got this in Las Vegas. My husband and I were wa walking through the Venetian and we saw this art gallery, art shop, and I noticed a bunch of Beauty and the Beast art, so I went in to take a look because Belle is my favorite princess. And I noticed the name of the, um, of the artist and it turns out the artist is the woman who actually plays the voice of Belle, Paige O'Hara. And so um, I went ahead and bought it. And the cool thing was that Paige O'Hara was actually in residence in Las Vegas, appearing in the vagina monologues. So I actually left it with the shop and went back home. And then maybe two weeks later, she came in and autographed it for me. It's on the back of the painting. I'm not gonna pull it off because it's just kind of a pain. But um, yeah, she wrote a little message. She actually wrote the lines that she says here in the movie. And this painting is called Far Off Places. So. Uh, she wrote uh, the lines that she says in this scene, and then she autographed it, and then I was lucky enough a few months later to meet her at D23, and she was very lovely, so this is near and dear to my heart. I hate that couch. That is a husband couch. So I foresee that one day it will go. Much like the trampoline. I do have a Lumiere, but um, his arms are really fragile because they're so slender and they broke. So I'm waiting for my husband to repair him so I can put him back on. I see him. I do on, let me see. I won't because it has artful names on there, but 
I do own a little piece of Disneyland for a couple of years now. Um, you can actually buy a little paving stone in the main walk between the parks. And my husband got it for me for my birthday one year. So every time I visit the park, we go and we look at our stone. stylish are they right that's my grandpa <laughs> but I mean just peak glamour right here and I know Marie Kondo recommends only keeping like 30 books but um and she has a lot of great ideas I do her folding method but girlfriend's insane if she thinks I'm only keeping 30 books suck it Marie that was kind of mean for joining me. I hope this gave you some feelings of comfort and calm and maybe even a little bit of relaxation and maybe some ideas on how to bring comfort and a little bit of hookah into your home. Anyhow guys, I'm going to go ahead and kick back, relax, enjoy my library, do some reading at my window seat and enjoy the rest of my day. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are well and taking care of yourselves and staying safe, staying home and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.